We should talk about the creative process of high tech. I did a draft in, my like, first draft was like March 2017, maybe? No, wait, no, 2018, 2018. Um, and then there was rehearsed reading and developed it some more with the help of Tom Wright. Love and, Tom. Yeah, legend. And then, then the bush got involved and we're like, hi. And I was like, hello. Um, and yeah, did some more drafts. How many drafts have you gone through? This is the ninth, I think. The ninth draft. So um, you've gone through the first round with Tom. You've worked on it. It's come to the bush. We've worked on it. You've had some support from D, from Deirdre, associate dramaturg, Lynette, myself. Of course, we programmed it. Really. We've got some brilliant actors to come in and read it for us. It was fantastic. What do you think the biggest journey of the script is? I mean, initially it wasn't um, Tara and Leah who were getting married, so that's probably the biggest change. Like, before it wasn't a gay wedding. Because um, I think it was more like, I was thinking of it more like Blood Wedding and like her leaving the guy that she was marrying, Samuel. Samuel! <laughs> hey, leaving him Samuel. to be with Leah. Um, but it was actually Tom who suggested like, what if, what if it's their wedding? So that's like a huge, huge change. When we think about story and you think about the high table as a story now, where do you think the focus is? Mm. I think the focus is much more on the protagonist, on Tara's journey. Yeah. And there are other elements, like the way that the ancestors intersect with that. And everybody learns something and everybody goes on a journey, but it's much more about Tara and her legacy and her relationship, I guess. What's the rehearsal process been like? Well, <laughs> the rehearsal process has been, um, it's been joyous. I think there's been so many discoveries. I think there's been so many self-discoveries of the different people that have come into the space. Of course, we operate with an open room, um, even with such delicate material. But it's, it's, been, um, it's been a space of love. I think people have found a lot of love within themselves for this piece. Everyone's going through a journey. What do you think is the main thing you've learned? I guess it's much more generic. There's a generic thing that I'm learning, which is about the history of queerness and the history of, um, of queer people from, you know, from the beginning of, from when people started documenting who they were. And so just unraveling that has is, is been quite spiritual, actually, going back to what, was, what existed before, you know, before um, colonization. It's um, an absolute pleasure and a joy to work with you. You are amazing. Like I've been fangirling you for so long. Ah! And now we're working together. <laughs> um, no, but really, you work incredibly well, like quickly and um, I've, I've just never seen someone just get into a space where like, all right, cool, I can make that change right now. And they <laughs> make the change there and then, and you're like, okay, cool. I didn't really plan for that, but let's do it. Let's make it happen. So um, that, that's a huge, I guess a huge, a huge um, blessing just to have you in a space and to be with us. And you, you inform so much of the work, what is happening in the world that exists. And you know, the things that you don't know, you kind of leave it up to the rest of the, the, um, the actors and the crew to, to make those decisions. So it means that we also have ownership of the work that, mm. that gets created. And I think that's so important for every, every person that's coming out and sharing this work for however many weeks that we've got here in um, at the Bush and also at the Birmingham Rep. Plug, come see it, 23rd of March. 25th, right? 25th? 25th. At Birmingham Rep? Yeah. <laughs> the 25th. Oh no, my nail. Oh. <laughs>